So um, take a look down at your feet and bring your feet together so that your big toes are touching. You're right at the top of your mat and your heels, so you have a little high slice between your feet. And um, then root down and get a little bit taller, kind of pull your bottom rib away from your pelvis. And then look down, um, pick all 10 toes up off of the mat. Um, and then uh, softly just put your big toes down and press them down so that they're touching each other and the mat, nice and firm. And then keeping the middle three toes lifted and your uh, big toes on the mat, put your pinky toes down. So now you've got those three toes lifted and notice how this feels. You should feel the bottoms of your feet really actively pulling up. And then put all 10 toes on the mat. Then stand up tall. I want you to pull your muscles, your quad muscles, your thigh muscles up and back against your thigh bones. Pull your belly in tight. Lift your ribs again. Roll your shoulders forward. Take an inhale, roll them up, and slide them down your back. Nice. Kind of turn your palms forward a little bit. Let's do that one more time. Roll the shoulders and at that. On the back, roll. Externally rotate your palms. Nice, one more time, inhale forward, and exhale down, let your palms come out, stand tall, your chin is level with the floor, close your eyes. Take a moment to breathe, start working into your ujjayi, equal Inhales and exhales, nice and full and rich and big and a little bit noisy. Nice. So go ahead and float your hands up. You can keep your eyes closed for a second if you want. Take a side bend. So steeple your fingers and just gently lean to the right. Press your hips out, pull your ribs in. So we're going to dedicate our warm up, five different sal salutations, five different dedications. And then inhale, come up, grow a little taller, root into that foundation you created, and exhale, lean over to the left. Because if we don't have a strong foundation, I think Sam has talked about this, we both talked about this, but you have to start from the ground up. You have to have a strong foundation to grow up. Inhale, reach back up, then just push your hips forward, lift a little taller, and draw a little line on the ceiling, just to the point where you kind of feel like you're doing a back bend, not too much. Nice. And then take an inhale, come back up to standing, release your hands, hands to your heart. So your first sun salutation is easy, um, dedicated to someone that you love. So take a moment, think of that person, and maybe it's an animal. Send some love and some good vibes out to that person. Nice. All right, drop your hands down again, palms facing outward. Inhale, float up into Dasana. And then slowly roll down, or not roll down, fold down nice and soft for this first sun salutation. Take a moment here in your forward fold. Okay, just let your hamstrings loosen up a little bit, shake out your head. Nice. We'll take this first one really slow. Then take your hands off the earth, press them into your thighs or your shins. Halfway lift. Breathe here. And bend your knees, hands to the mat, step back through high plank. Really slow here. So take a moment to kind of press into the mat, press into your foundation, grow a little further away from the mat. Inhale, shift forward. Feel free to put your knees down and lower all the way down to your belly. So this first one will come from the belly, our back bend, will come up from the mat. Sphinx pose, press your forearms, spread your hands, pull your arms back toward you. Lengthen your front body, press your toes down. Nice, take an inhale here. And on your exhale, slide your hands back to your bottom rib, come up into a high plank, knees or no knees, and shift your hips back for your first downward facing dog. And we'll take some time in this first dog to kind of get into your body here. 
This is where you kind of explore what's happening in your body. So take some movement here. You can roll forward to plank and back to down dog. You can pedal, you can lift your feet, maybe drop your heels side to side. Nice job. So this is kind of our, we'll, we'll do a little cat-cow, but this is kind of our, our version of cat-cow, of warming up our spine. Nice. And when you're ready, take a breath or two in stillness in your down dog, really lengthen your legs, press your chest back. Beautiful. All right, inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees, finish your exhale, and step to the top of the mat with control and intention. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften, bow, let your head hang. Reverse swan dive, reach up, pull in a lot of oxygen, a lot of air, palms together, exhale, hands to your heart center. So your next dedication is to be to someone you know, okay? Someone you don't know really well. Someone you see, a neighbor, somebody you know that's going through something. So think of that person. Send some good vibes, some love, a little prayer, if that's your thing, their direction. Beautiful. Drop your hands down. Inhale, float up. Exhale, float down. Finish your exhale all the way. Inhale, tabletop that back. Exhale, high plank. So you can go to your belly again, or you can just move to the bottom of your push-up and chaturanga. Use your back muscles. Then shine your heart forward for your up dog, or feel free to choose snakes or cobra. And then exhale, use your core to transition back to your downward facing dog and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Breath in here. And breath out here. Really nice. Lift your heels, take an inhale. Bend your knees, look where you want to go, and then top of breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, up. Inhale, stand. Sweep up. Big breath in, palms together, hands to your heart. Sun A number three is to an essential worker. So maybe it's somebody you know personally. Maybe it's somebody you see, your Starbucks barista, and they're essential workers. Nurse, firefighter. All right. So hands drop down, palms face up. Breathe in, lift up. Breathe out, forward fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, shift. Exhale, chaturanga. Lower to your belly or to the height of your elbows. Push into the hands, push the feet into the mat. Back bend of choice, downward facing dog. Beautiful. And right away, inhale on your toes, bend your knees, step or float at the bottom of your exhale. Perfect. Inhale here, halfway. Exhale back. Inhale, stand, nice and strong, rooting and getting really tall. Palms together and exhale, hands to your heart. All right, number four. This is the top one. I want you to send good vibes, maybe love, to someone that you really disagree with. Okay, somebody that you don't, that is really difficult for you to send love to. But give it a try. Send a little love there. I, I couldn't even stand up. It was so hard for me. All right. So let's float up in, into the asana. Inhale. And exhale back. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, make your way through your vinyasa, moving with your breath, moving intentionally, continuing to send joy and love and all of the good feelings out into the world. Breath in and breath out in your down dog. Last time, lift your heels at the bottom of your exhale step. Maybe you start to float. At the top of your space, take a halfway lift and bow forward, and stand up, and samastihiti. Last one, yourself, of course. All 
and then float your hands up on your inhale. Take this one on your own. And take a couple of breaths in your down dog. Nice job, you guys. Thank you for participating. Go ahead and come forward to plank on your inhale and send your knees down. Just take a couple of cat cows to really finish warming up our spine. So just take some movement here, flexion and extension. Focusing on moving the pelvis, also moving your thoracic spine, your cervical spine, your shoulders a little bit. Beautiful. Two more breaths here, full and deep, nice and noisy, cyclical breathing. Yeah, and then make your way back to your down dog. Excellent, lift your heels, breath in, and bend your knees, look and go. Find a halfway lift here, and exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up. And exhale, palms together, press your palms together, let your head drop back, and sit back into your chair. Just try this for a couple of breaths. It's not terribly comfortable. You can stay here if you want, or separate your hands into Utkatasana. Keep your chin lifted, keep those shoulders uh, relaxed, and kind of back, nice. Weight is in your heels, but your chest is lifted enough that you're using your glutes. Let's come down into steers pose. So drape your belly over your thighs. Fire up the fingers forward. Nice. And just to stretch our backs a little bit, lift your heels up and come into ball pose. So really round your spine a lot here. Bring your chin to your chest and pull against your shins so you feel that really nice stretch in your back. Nice. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, heels down, forward fold, beautiful. Halfway lift, chaturanga, make your way through your vinyasa. I'm gonna be skipping some chaturangas today. Make your way to your down dog. Beautiful, breath in here. And breath out here, bring your feet a little closer together, float your right leg up. And then stack your hips here, stretch the right side of your body in any way that feels good. I always like to rotate my ankle, maybe look under my left arm. Awesome. Extend your leg and square your hips. Take an inhale, exhale, knee into your nose. Perfect. One more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, step behind your right hand. Left heel grounds down, outer edge of your left foot grounds down. Grounds down, warrior one. Square up your hips. Take a moment to notice the pose here. Is there anything that feels sticky? Take your breath there, take your attention there. Relax your toes, fire up your left inner thigh, use that right glute. Float your hands up, sink another inch on your inhale, and exhale, hands down. Take a vinyasa if you like. Always moving with breath through your vinyasas, inhales, or exhales attached to every movement. And right away, bring your right foot a little closer to your left, float your left leg up, and then open up. Press actively into both hands. Get really nice and wide here, nice and long. Take an inhale as you extend your leg. On your exhale, bring your thighs close to your belly and the shin as far away from the mat as you can. Inhale, float your leg back. Step it through with control, warrior one. Inhale up. Beautiful, and take a couple of breaths here. Notice if your hip points are square. Left foot to the left side of the mat, right foot to the right, right side of the mat. You're on two lanes of a highway. Jazz hands with your fingers, sink nice and deep. One more inhale to sink one more inch. 
And on your exhale, hands down, make your way back to your down dog. Moving with breath, nice job. Maybe periodically checking back in with those dedications, with those people, with that, that good energy. Excellent. All right, so coming to the top of mat, at the bottom of your exhale, step or hop. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. And exhale, chair pose. Moving with breath, lift your hips a little more on your inhale. And on your exhale, skier's pose. Perfect, reach forward, lengthen, reach the tailbone back. Inhale, exhale, ball pose. One more time for that nice stretch. So really purposefully do a little cat pose here. Yeah, stay up on your toes. Take an inhale. And exhale, forward fold, lift your hips. Halfway lift, chaturanga or not. You choose how you get to down dog. Just make sure you're breathing through it. Nice. And from your downward facing dog, float your right leg up again on your inhale. Beautiful knee to nose, shift forward. Perfect, inhale, three-legged dog. Take your right knee to your left arm, thread your leg through and take your left your uh, weight on the left inner foot, right outer foot. Drop your hips down, push them up. Both hands are on the mat. Drop them down, push up, push into your foundation. One more time, drop down. As you push up, feel free to come into full expression of rock star or broken triangle. One inhale here. On your exhale, plant your left hand, shoot your right leg up, take an inhale. Exhale, warrior one. Breathe in as you lift up. Really rotate the torso over toward the right. Beautiful, take an inhale, sink. Exhale, warrior two. <sighs> Breathe here, find your soft gaze, find your smooth breath. Sink another inch, try to make that right thigh parallel to the mat, sink low, get a little uncomfortable. And then reverse, right palm to the ceiling, reaching straight up before you come back. One more inhale here, exhale, hands down, make your way to down dog. Perfect, and from this down dog, Take your left leg back behind you for three-legged dog. And then shift forward, shoulders over your wrists, knee in. Inhale, three-legged dog. This time bring the left knee to the right arm, pause for a hot second, and then thread your leg through. Again, inner right foot, outer left foot. Then press into your feet and hands, lift, left oblique working. Then stretch that outer hip, dip it down. Pardon me, exhale, lift your hips. Inhale, down. Last time, exhale, lift, hold. Then maybe float up into rock star or stay with both hands on the mat. Either way is fine. Take an inhale. Exhale, tap down. Three-legged dog. Big breath in. Exhale, core strength and control, warrior one. Nice. Breathe, sink a little deeper into your warrior one, and then open up to warrior two. Heel toe that left foot to the middle of the mat, and then try to pretend like somebody is pulling on both arms and your head all apart. Yeah, so you're really lengthening out of those joints. Sink a little deeper on your inhale, reverse your warrior on your exhale, one breath here, and hands down, make your way to down dog. Inhale, 
Press your hands down and forward. Press your heart center toward your knees on your downward facing dog. Nice job. All right, take an inhale. Lift those heels way up. Exhale, bend a lot. Really get some spring. See if you can catch a little bit of air. Perfect. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, bow. Inhale, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. And exhale, Skiers, push not Skiers Pose, that's next, but Chair Pose. Nice. So yeah, we're going to take Skiers Pose. So that now, instead of, so we're going to hold like this, but let's take the hands out to a T. We're just going to work the back muscles a little. So your thumbs are up, your belly is very low here. So strong core to support your back. And let's just pulse those thumbs up. You should feel this in your upper back and through your legs. So thumbs up, you're going to pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, stay low, two, one, hold, bring the hands forward, take an inhale, exhale, lift your hips, shake out your legs, shake out your head, take a little version of ragdoll, just a couple of breaths. Nice. Inhale, halfway lift. Step your left foot back and put your left knee on the mat for Anjali. So inhale, reach up. Shift those hips forward, but not so far forward that you just feel like you're losing control. So nice and controlled. Right foot presses down and pulls back just a little bit so you feel that hamstring activate. Get really long and lift your chin. Nice. On your next exhale, bring your palms together. Inhale here. Exhale, lean forward and take a twist in your anjane. One of my favorite poses. It's just so good for your mid-back, where you just don't, you don't get that mobility, because you know, all those joints are attached to your rib cage. Relax your toes. Look over your right shoulder, so this becomes a deeper twist into the neck. Nice. Take an inhale, and on your exhale, just unwind, reach up, take your hands behind you with your thumbs, um, your, it doesn't matter which thumb, just one thumb, and usually try to alternate if you can remember. And then three times, we're gonna lift our knee. So your choice, you can lift it here with the top of the foot. If you don't like that, curl your toes. So here we go. Shine your heart, inhale, lift, Exhale down. I'm going to change that cue. Take a breath in. Exhale as you lift. Last time. Inhale, gently set it down. Lift those hands up. Exhale, lift. Beautiful. Go ahead and curl your toes under. Keep your mind, if you can, lift your knee up off the mat into this bound crescent lunge. Lean forward, warrior three with the body. So turn your left hip down, take an inhale, and on your exhale, gently release your hands, put your hands right over your heart center. Maybe the right hand first, then the left hand. And then for each of those dedications, you're going to tap your left foot down. So tap your left, your, tap your toe, inhale, lift. Tap it down. Find that drishti, find that rhythmic breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Hold, open up into airplane pose for a breath. Take an inhale. Ah. Exhale, step it back for warrior two. Yeah, nice and deep. And let's just straighten the right leg just for a second. Palms over your head, give that right leg a little break, and then sink it back down into warrior two. Yeah, so check your alignment. Make sure that you have this nice stacked torso that you're not leaning forward or too far back. Turn your palms to the left, so just palms toward your way your body is going. We're gonna do grounded warrior three, it's just a nice little twist. Take that left arm, reach it forward, lean forward, press your palms together. 
and then bow and arrow back, nice and strong. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, pull it back. Nice. One more time, forward and back. Beautiful, reverse your warrior on your inhale. Half moon pose here. So grab your block if you want it. Take your right hand down and your left hand up. Flex that left foot. Awesome. Now, if you can, you guys, find a focal point. Maybe bring your bottom hand up into half prayer. Find one thing to stare at. Keep your right leg nice and soft. Awesome. Take an inhale and gently step it back into warrior two. Hands out. Let's take the hands behind the head. Lengthen a little bit in your side body. Exhale, right elbow to right knee. And back up. Again, exhale and inhale. I don't like that cue. Do it again. Take an inhale. Exhale down, inhale, exhale. So don't twist, just work that left oblique. Stay deep, tap, lift up tall. Let's go three more. Inhale, exhale, beautiful. Inhale, exhale, last one. Nice and long, nice and tall, warrior two. Step forward, take your left foot behind you, left hand stretch. So you're stretching over to the right because we were working that left oblique, stretching that left oblique. Breathe here. Nice, let the hips drop out the side of your feet together. One more breath in. Nice, and on your exhale, just come to standing. I want you just to take your left foot, step it back, heel toe your right foot to the right side of the mat, find pyramid pose. So again, make sure your feet don't look like this in pyramid, that they're nice and square. And then take a flat back as you come down. Again, a great place for a block. Let me use mine here. Push the right hip back and the left hip forward. Soften. Notice if your hamstrings are kind of fighting your stretch, okay? Think about it, let them go. Relax. Nice, one more inhale. And on your exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands, step, maybe you start thinking, hop back. Make your way through a vinyasa. That's your little reset button. Breathe here. Inhale. And exhale. Excellent. All right. Lift your heels. Look where you want to land. Grab that mat like you're a little cat. Come to the top. Halfway here. And bow. Exhale. Inhale. Mountain pose. Nice and strong, nice and tall. Exhale back into Utkatasana chair. Excellent. We're good? We good? Good. All right, ski your spokes. So really keep your belly firm. Try to see if you can drop your hips so they're even with your knees. And then again, let's just work that back a little bit. So palms forward, thumbs up. Reach your hands back a little bit and up a little. And we're gonna pulse, look down for eight, Seven, really high, six, and five. Four, come on, reach up, three, beautiful, strong backs, two, and one, take an inhale, exhale, forward fold, perfect. Halfway lift, step your right foot back for your ingenue, right knee down, you'll toe that left foot over a little, and float your hands up. Square up your hips. As you root down into your foundation, nice and strong, get really light. Beautiful hands to prayer. Lean on your inhale, twist on your exhale. 
Really try to push your hands together to open up your heart center for a safe twist. Of course, if it ever feels painful, you just want to back off a little, maybe look over your left shoulder. Relax your toes. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, just a quarter turn to the right, back into Anjali. And then clasp your hands behind you. Maybe take the non-dominant clasp. So curl your toes or push into the tops of the feet and up to you, top of the foot. And then lift your knee, exhale. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, lift. And bring it down. Beautiful, one more time. Lift and down. Excellent, now careful with your knee. By the way, if this hurts your knees, feel free to put weight into your hands. Curl your toes, lift your right kneecap up off the mat. Lean forward and on your next big exhale, warrior three with a bind. Soften here. Excellent, and then release your hands. Maybe put your left hand on your heart center, right hand over so you kind of almost can feel your heart beating. Lift your chest just a little, and then tap down the right foot. Lift it up. Inhale, and exhale. Three more times with your breath. Slow and smooth. Nice, take an inhale here, and on your exhale, gently step back into warrior two and open up. Yeah, and then straighten your left leg, palms over your head. Take a moment just to give that leg a little break, shake out your booty a little, and then back into warrior two deep. Deep into your stance, open up through your heart here, palms toward the right side of the mat, inhale, reach, lean, 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 and then bow and arrow back to your warrior two. Inhale, reach, exhale, warrior two. Last time, a little bit further, and coming back into a strong warrior two. Reverse on your inhale, and then half moon pose. Block or no block, pillow, something underneath the left hand. Nice and strong here. Really, again, pressing into your foundation. And then maybe finding the focal point right out in front of you, a little below eye level. See if you can lift your left hand up Put your thumb at your heart center in half prayer. Yeah. Find equanimity here. Your balance between ease and effort. Between work and surrender. Nice. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, gently with control like a little ballerina, warrior two, take your hands behind your head. I'm going to flip around so I can watch you guys. And pull your elbows back and stack your joints. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop your left elbow to left knee. And then lengthen. So somebody has a string here. Not only are you bending, but you're lengthening at the same time. Nice. Inhale down. Exhale. Relax the toes. Keep the left glute active. Let's do three more. Inhale. Nice and tall. Two more. You've got it. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, warrior two. Beautiful step to the top of the mat. Take your right foot behind your left. And then take it side bent over toward the right. I think I did the wrong side. Oh well. We get a stretch. Breathe here. Nice, take an inhale, and then lengthen up here, nice and long. Step back for pyramid pose. So take your time, this is not like some crazy transition. You just wanna make sure that your stance is correct. Okay, both toes, all 10 toes to the top of the mat. Square up your hip, pyramid pose. Keep your left knee straight but soft. Relax your head. Push the left big toe into the mat in order to push your left hip back and your right hip forward. Mm -hmm. 
Nice job. One more inhale, really stretching that left hamstring, relaxing it, ask, asking it to let go. And then look up, take a little halfway lift, bend your knees, step back into your plank pose, and go through a vinyasa if you would like. And then reset in your down dog here. Take a moment to do a little body scan, observe what's happening within um, the four corners of your torso, with your joints, with your breath, what's happening in your head. All right, we're gonna do that series one more time, adding on a little bit. So lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop. Make your way to the top of the mat. Take a little halfway lift when you're here. And exhale, bow forward. Inhale, mountain pose. Sweeping up, nice job. Exhale, chair pose. Perfect. And then skier's pose. Take your hands out to a T. We're going to do those pulses. I'm going to give you also the option to lift your heels if you would like. And pulse for eight. Seven, use that drishti to help you balance. Six, five, pulse up for five, a little higher for four, three, two, one, heels down, forward fold, shake it out. Beautiful, take a halfway lift on your inhale. Step your left foot back for Anjane, right foot over to the mat, left knee on the mat. Inhale, float up. Beautiful, hands to prayer. Moving with breath, lean forward, take a twist, and push that knee outward into your elbow so you feel the outer right leg, the outer right glute activate. Nice, on your next exhale, go ahead and unwind, come up, bind behind your back. So turn your thumbs and your shoulders so you get that nice bind. Now, for some reason, this doesn't work for your shoulders. I should have said this before. You can just airplane your arms. Three times lifting the knee, either the toe curled under or not. Inhale, lift, and exhale down. I'm choosing my breathing cues. It's OK. Inhale, lift, and exhale down. One more time. Inhale, lift, and hold. Breathe. Lengthen the front body. Take an inhale, and exhale. Come down. Nice job. Now curl your toes under, carefully lift your left knee up off the mat, lean forward, and make your way into your warrior three. Nice, lift everything away from the mat. Hands to your heart center, tap down for five. Nice, for four. You've got it for three, working for, on strong glutes, body control. One more time. Airplane pose, float out. Nice, warrior two. Yeah, you got it. Sorry. Let's take a reverse. Back to warrior two, grounded warrior three, three times. Palms together, bow and arrow back, resist the air. Inhale and exhale. One more time. And exhale, another reverse on our breath in. Take half moon pose. Find a second, find your drishti, find your balance, spread your toes wide, and then gently half prayer. Maybe. Beautiful, take an inhale. And on your exhale, step it back for warrior two. You got it. And then let's do those oblique crunches one more time, hands behind the head. So right knee, uh, elbow down, back up. Down and up with your breath. Inhale and exhale two more times. Yes, you got it. One more time. Perfect, warrior two. Side angle pose. Take the arm up and over. Breathe and stretch. Nice, now take your hand up from your shoulder, not your wrist. Internal rotation, so your thumb goes back. 
all the way around. Maybe you take a half bind here. If you have that half bind, pull the shoulder back, pull your rib cage back. Nice. Maybe make that into a full bind. If you want to grab a strap or something, or a, a string, or a scarf, or whatever you have around, a towel, pull your shoulders back. Nice. Now, carefully, keeping the crown of your head toward the top of the mat, straighten the right leg for bound a triangle. And it doesn't have to be completely straight, just a little straight. But trying to keep that rib cage up off of that right thigh, you guys. Really nice. All right, and now for the final piece de resistance, I do not speak French. You're gonna bend your knee, look forward. Try to hop or walk your left foot in. Transfer the weight to the left foot. Pick up your right foot. Yeah, and take some version of Bird of Paradise. And even if it means skipping the bind, and just holding up here. You can even hold underneath your thigh, extend your leg, whatever works for you. Breathe here in your bird. Awesome. Any version, it doesn't really matter. Excellent. Set your foot down, come back into your side angle, take a breath in, give yourself some props. Reverse triangle. Push into your right foot, grow. I like to grab my wrist and pull. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, hands to the mat for high plank. And take your left hand underneath your nose, side plank. Any version of side plank, you can take that front foot in front, the top foot in front. You can drop your knee down. Just open up here, make this nice and big. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, hands down. Chaturanga, or just down dog. That was a lot. As usual, you guys wrapped it. Take a couple of breaths, maybe a couple of exhales through the mouth. Let's do the other side. All right, breath in on the toes. Finish your exhale, and then transition to the top of your space. Take a halfway lift here. Exhale, bow. Inhale, mountain pose, nice and tall. Let's take a side bend, you guys, just to stretch out our sides real quick. One way, one direction, it doesn't matter which direction. And then go the other way. Really try to focus on not resisting that stretch in your side. So even though your belly is firm, you're letting those side muscles relax. Nice. And then release back into mountain pose and sink into chair. Excellent. Skiers pose, keep moving with your breath. Take your hands back, palms forward, so they're slightly behind your shoulders and lift it up. And if you want to lift your heels, you can. Pulse for eight, seven, six, five, strong back, four, breathe, three, two, and one. Hold, inhale. And exhale, carefully drop the heels, lift the hips, shake out your legs. Let's stretch the hamstrings real quickly. So I will leave it up to you guys. You can do padabhustasana, so that's holding your big toes, or padahastasana, putting your hands underneath your feet. So it's your choice, whichever of these poses you like. You can also take ragdoll. Just take your feet a little wider. Yeah, so something in inflection that feels good to you. Keep it soft and always keep your knees bent. All right, two more breaths. Perfect, so wherever you are, release your feet and heel toe your feet a little closer together. Take that halfway lift on the inhale and step back for Anjane with your right knee on the mat. You take your left foot slightly over to the left. Inhale to lengthen. Nice job. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, shift forward and exhale, twist. Push your hands together, push your elbow into your knee. Look over your left shoulder. Beautiful. Inhale, unwind, reach up for Anjali. And exhale, take your hands behind you, maybe the non-dominant class. Pull the shoulders, you guys. Dap back first, so open your chest. 
and then send them down just a little bit. Perfect. Let's lift the knee. Inhale, lift. And exhale, settle it down softly. Inhale, use your strong leg and your strong core, but keep that heart center open. One more time. Inhale, lift and hold for five, four, three, two. Beautiful. Gently set your knee down. Awesome. Curl your toes under. Careful of your knee here. Lift up for your uh, bound crescent. And then leaning forward, inching forward, and making your way to your bound airplane. And then carefully releasing, taking your left hand to your heart. Taking a moment, see if you can feel your heartbeat. Yeah, tap your right foot down. Five times, flow through it at your pace. Beautiful, and then when you're done, stepping back into warrior two. <sighs> nice, let's flip our, flip our palm reverse. Keep moving with your breath back into two. Grounded warrior three, three times. Palms together. Resist the air back. Inhale forward. Exhale, warrior two. Last time. Pull it back. Reverse one more time. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Half moon pose. Make your way there. Take your time. And once you're there, take a breath in stillness. Find your focal point. Then slowly bring your hand up into half prayer. Breathe here. Nice. Take an inhale. And gently step it back to warrior two. Sink nice and deep, hands behind your head, pull your elbows back. Left elbow to left knee, and up. Five times, again, on your own. And when you're done with your fifth, meeting in, Parsvakanasana, in side angle pose, reaching forward. Stretching from the outer right foot all the way through that right middle finger. Nice, then hands straight up. Rotate your thumb back from your shoulder. Come around, see if you can find your left inner thigh. And wherever you are, no matter what kind of body you have, pull your shoulder back, lift your rib cage back. Excellent. And then if you want to go for that full line, go for it. But try once you have the hands to lean your shoulders back. And then straighten your left leg to any degree, even just a little, and lean the ribs back for bound triangle. Maybe dip your chin toward your right shoulder just a little. Beautiful. Bend your knee, look down, and then walk your right foot in, transfer your weight, and make your way up to your right foot for bird, of any version of bird. Some sort of balance pose here. Just call this a balance pose. Yeah. Breathe here. Excellent. Carefully push your foot back down. Unwind, coming back into your side angle pose. Awesome. Look down, touch down, high plank, and take your right hand underneath your nose. Roll over to the outer edges of your right foot. Take your side plank, any version of side plank. Breathe, press into your foundation, get light. Take an inhale, and your exhale, look down, touch down, chaturanga, or just downward facing dog. Excellent. Where are we? All right. So go ahead and come back up to the top of the mat, you guys. Y'all. 
So let's, we're gonna do two things real quickly. Let's do a quick balance pose. I mean, we did airplane, but let's just do tree, just to keep it really um, basic. So shift, titch, um, spread your feet really wide. With any balance pose, you gotta start with a good foundation. Find your drishti and then make your way into tree. And take whatever version of tree you like. Soften your breath. Excellent, one more inhale. And on your exhale, let that go. And then just go to the other side when you're ready. Take your time, create that strong, big base, spread your toes, find your focal point, put your foot anywhere on your leg that works, just avoiding any pain, avoiding putting your heel in your kneecap, that's not good. And once you're in that tree pose, press into your left foot or into your base foot and kind of grow an inch here. See if you can expand just a little bit. Take an inhale, and on your exhale, relax, let it go. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, if my balance is good until I think about falling or I think about something else and then it goes away. So here's what we're going to do. We're gonna take about 90 seconds to um, work on something you'd like to work on. So if you wanna to go to a wall and try uh, walking up the wall, I'm sure, people, <laughs> I'm sure your parents would love that, Christine. Walk your footprints up the wall. Um, maybe uh, a headstand, a handstand, crow. Um, we have stretched our hamstrings. We could try an ekapada, a kondinyasana, if you would like. And that's just where you have your foot here, and you straighten your leg. So we've done a lot of core work. Um, side crow, if you want to unmute yourself and ask a question, you can. Sydney, that looks so good. Sam, of course, you're beautiful. Rhonda, look at that headstand. Go, Christine. <laughs> Sorry, mom and dad. Wait, Daria, hold on. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Oh, I'm not saying anything. I'm just watching other people, how oh. great they are. Okay, I know, They're, you guys are so strong. Okay, well, all right. So whenever you're ready, come back to child's pose on the mat. You guys look fabulous. Meryl, I hope one day you'll practice with your camera on. But I get it. I totally get it. Reconnect with your breath. Send some good love out into the world. With every exhale, make it, make it positive and energetic and confident and good. One more inhale here. And on your exhale, just go ahead and come to um, your belly. Let's go ahead and just airplane out here. So lift your hands so you feel those same muscles that we were working in those little skiers things. And then float everything up. Squeeze your glutes, use your hamstrings, bring your toes a little closer together, lengthen your neck. Take an inhale and then float your hands forward and hold and breathe. Activate your back body, soften your breath, soften your gaze, one more inhale. And exhale, just put your hands down in front of you. Rest if you want to take your knees, your feet side to side. Put your, take your gaze to the left. 
and then flip your gaze. If you didn't go to the left, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Flip your gaze the other way. Nice. Leave your left hand in front of you. Put your forehead on the back of your left hand. Bring your feet a little closer together. Grab the top of your foot. Pull your heel toward your glute. Stretch the front of your body. The front of your body. The front of your quad. And you can keep your chin here or your forehead here. Or if you want to come up a little bit, you can do that. Just make sure you're very, um, very mindful of the muscles around your knee and those tendons. Nice. And then switch. Pull your heel towards your butt. Whatever feels right with your upper body, do that. It'll be different from side to side. Nice. One more inhale. And on your exhale, gently release. Go ahead and just roll over onto your back. So take your right knee over your left knee, just like this, like you were going to do eagle. So you have knee over knee. Keep that and just bring both knees in. So that may be enough stretch for you. You may feel that stretch in your right glute. If you want a little more, you can grab your ankles above or below, or your feet, if you can reach your feet. Take those feet out and in. So please don't, so if you're pulling in from way down here, you're not gonna get the stretch. You need to bring your feet up, so grab your knees, your legs where you can, and pull your ankles inward toward your face. And your shins, if you look at them, should be pretty much parallel to the floor. Supine cow face pose, a stretch for the outer hips. Yeah. From what I can see, everybody's got it. Just don't, yeah, perfect. I know, I love this stretch. Just don't grab your feet so hard that you're pulling in and rotating your ankles in a whole lot. Daria, see if you can bring your feet toward your face just a little more. Lift them up a little. Just grab underneath your, yeah, yeah, grab underneath your ankles. Try that. Yes. Now pull them in. Yeah. All right, you guys. Nice job. And then take a um, supine bound angle pose real quickly. So just unwind here. Let the knees drop out. You can even gently self-assist by pushing your knees. A little counter stretch here. Perfect. And then take the other side, left knee over right, or just whatever opposite side you did. Cross them first, then bring both knees in, then grab top of the leg, bottom, but you've got to come up first and then come in. Try to keep your spine nice and long. Gently pulling on the yeah, that's perfect. If you have long arms, it also helps in this pose. Yeah, looks good. Take a few more breaths here, really kind of to relax the glute knee. One more inhale, and on your exhale, just release those feet, unwind, happy baby. So it's another kind of little counter stretch to that frog, that frog, that uh, supine cow face. And from your happy baby, grab either your big toes, the outer edges of your feet, or somewhere on your legs, and just open up your legs here. Doing this in public? Yes. Stretch, stretch, stretch. 
And then bending the knees again, grabbing them, taking happy baby or some version for one more breath. Beautiful. And take your right ankle to your left knee. Put your left foot down on the mat and drop both legs over to the right. So the sole of your right foot is on the floor. The ankle of your right leg is on top of your left knee. And gently press your shoulder down. So this is a very gentle twist for your lumbar spine. I also like to push on my inner right leg, just again, find that same stretch for the outer thigh. Take an inhale here. And on your exhale, release, come back up through center and switch sides, left ankle to right knee. And then just let both legs drop over to the right. Sole of the right foot on the floor, right ankle to the top, or left ankle, let's try that again, sole of the left foot on the floor, left ankle on top of your right knee. Close your eyes, soften, release your controlled breath. Take an inhale, and on your exhale, come back through the middle, unwind, bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze, and then make your way to Shavasana. As you guys settle into Shavasana, if you've been to my class lately, you know that I have been um, thinking a lot about the seven universal truths that I've learned in yoga teacher training. So settle into Shavasana, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna read these um, and then stay quiet. The seven universal truths. One, you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Two, fear and pain are life's greatest teachers. Three, laughter and play are the keys to the fountain of youth. Four, exercise and rest are the keys to vibrant health. Five, touch and intimacy our basic human needs. Six, nothing is permanent. And seven, everything and everyone are connected. 